Why, hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Silvestro. Feel free to check out my personal music. I have a singer. <laughs> Today, in the spirit of Christmas, we are watching Billie Eilish. Have yourself a little merry little Christmas, which just came out. I don't know if anyone's going to care about this or my reaction to it, but I wanted to watch it anyways. So let's get on with the video. Once again, Billie Eilish. How's the Barbie? Weird Barbie. Classic riffs. Thank you, Billy. Yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be I guess like something I've never considered when it comes to Billy is like I never thought she'd be like a Christmas album type of girl, but her voice sounds amazing on this song. Oh my gosh. Like her overall tone is just so pretty. It's like very sultry and nice. I'm obsessed with this already. Why has she not done a Christmas album? Um, excuse me, girl. She's so good. Just so good. Sigh. Just so pretty, like the way she kind of is playing with her voice throughout this. So pretty. sounds so good in like this jazzier genre like this is something i feel she's never really maybe i don't know maybe she has explored this but it doesn't seem like it right i feel like she's unlocked not unlocked this potential in her voice but i feel like she would sound amazing um i really need her to do a christmas album or do like a jazz album because her voice sounds so pretty in this and it seems so effortless for her you know what i'm saying like i really love the darkness and sultriness in her voice in this whole performance it's super pretty and unique and you can tell she seems like pretty comfortable singing this genre like it seems very effortless for her so i would love to hear more of this for her i love the red also being on brand with the holidays like her red hair Inflections too. Sounds so pretty. It's like. Like it's just very pretty, like very slight vibrato as well. And it's just super effortless. And it's just kind of show highlighting how good her tone is in general. Like her tone is really great. And I feel it takes like kind of performances like this to kind of show people how good someone's tone is. Cause you know, it's covered up by a lot of production sometimes. And I love to kind of see this more stripped down version. Happy golden Happy. days. such a pretty like cascading effect oh so stunning so good For the years we all will be together oh and i love her deeper notes the fates allow, so hang a shining star She 
so pretty. The last 30 seconds were so pretty too. Like this whole part. Oh my gosh, I just want to go back and listen to it again. How she like exited out of that note, like and I love the upper so merry little Christmas now love. so pretty oh my gosh i just overall think that this is such a great performance this highlight her tone and like the little inflection she had etc so pretty and like i love the stylistic choices like the little runs and you can tell she's very comfortable with her voice in this range and i loved like that little bit belt moment we had just so pretty i really loved it and with the way she transitioned out of it and then the upward run into the end so pretty i feel like i not that i've known her forever but i know i, I guess like i've been a pretty aware of her phil ever since she started um she's always had like a really pretty voice but i feel that she just sounds seems so much more mature in this like her voice just continues to mature and just her aura continues to mature i feel like she just seems every time i see her every year like she does like those interviews and whatever i feel like she seems so much happier in life every year you know what i'm saying like it just seems like she's coming into her own sorry there was like an a on my table i was trying to like get rid of it but every year i feel like she comes into her own a little bit more and more and and i feel she seems so comfortable like this seems like such a good song choice and genre for her love to see it i'm proud of her all the time because it's so hard like she's what 21 about to turn 22 being in the public eye people have a million opinions about you and i always respect her kind of staying not true to who she is like there's obviously some things she's done that are a little bit like dating her last boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend was a little bit whack but overall like she has dealt with a lot and like, you can tell that she's matured a lot and she's kind of grown from the person who made ocean eyes to who she is now and i feel like she seems like a lot more carefree chill like appreciative and very genuine and i think she's always stayed kind of pretty genuine throughout but yeah i just nice to see like a more matured version of billy eilish but that's my very quick rant over not very quick but like my rant over loved her voice in this she should do more in this it sounds so good for her um but i'll let you guys go listen to my music if you want to feel free to let me know if i should watch more billy and i would love to but i'll see you guys in the next video and this city's never had something for me as you know from all of my stories